जय श्री राम कृपा शंकर हिया एंड वी आर लुकिंग एट द सैट वो कैब शॉर्ट्स नंबर फाइव आई वॉन्ट यू टू फर्स्ट रिमेंबर दिस फेमस कोर्ट ऑफ रिचर्ड फेन मैन ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड यू कैन सी आई जस्ट क्रिबल्ड रिमेंबर फेन मैन कोर्ट आई आई ओ आई फॉर इनडिसिप्लिन आई फॉर इेवरेंट एंड ओ फॉर ओरिजिनल Uh, actually he used the word undisciplined which is a solecism s o l e c i s m solecism solecism means ungrammatical usage and ungrammatical usage the more popular uh, word is indisciplined not undisciplined nevertheless i the next i stands for irreverent reverence means respect irreverent means disrespectful and o is original since it sounds like i i o which is in telugu an expression when something re- goes wrong <laughs> so richard feynman said study hard i'm quoting now quote and quote study hard whatever interests you in the most indisciplined irreverent and original manner possible that's an awesome quote and uh, it has changed my thinking completely about the way i learn anything and here we have sat vocab shorts these are words i've taken from exercises constructed by several you know companies uh, which are into uh, preparatory material which are uh, into selling preparatory material so let's speed up because uh, if it becomes too long you lose interest the first word on top is protege protege or ward means a minor who is under the care of a guardian so the opposite of a protege protege means a pupil actually right a shishudu disciple assiduous if you look at this word the uh, word ass is there hard working assiduous is a positive word anyway diligent industrious sedulous s e d u l o u s means hard working and then fiducial or fiduciary means uh, uh, involving trust or faith the teacher's job is a fiduciary job because the student trust the teacher to tell him the truth about something not bluff not bluff or you know bullshit propitious kindly disposed we try to propitiate the gods by making sacrifices which i think is rather dumb <laughs> anyway propitious if somebody is propitious that means they are favorably disposed towards you precocious a precocious child is at a very young age very learned very talented very informed and advanced so we call them a prodigy prodigious means extraordinary gifted education is there in many countries for uh, prodigies now the next word engender engender means to bring about engendering confidence and engendering, engendering feelings of hope uh, engender to bring about now let's go up taciturn taciturn means doesn't speak at all uh, very reticent reserved laconic very brief in speech laconic no laksha matarte niko kansa cheptadu very brief disinterested is a very important word both for gre sat impartial disinterested judge must be impartial go up you see ingenious is a positive word very clever ingenuity is the extension or inflection of that word which means clever the word which comes uncomfortably close and is actually confusing is ingenuous ingenuous is naive naivete is the noun form of naive so ingenuous and naive both have three negative meanings first one unsophisticated uncultured very uncivilized the second one is gullible easily believing anything the third one is childlike simplicity so all three are negative so do not get confused with ingenuous and ingenuity ingenuity is clever ingenuous is i gave you the three meanings felicity means great happiness or felicity of expression means the right expression einstein is the arch type of genius the best example the perfect example my foibles include a sweet tooth that means i have a weakness for sweets harbinger means something that announces announces the arrival of something else a herald a nomen a portent uh, forte forte english is my forte my communication skills are my forte my strong point a strength remember i wrote a strong point but then i made some expressions there you see dictionaries can mislead us though they make all attempts to help us so the best way to learn words is to use them look up half dozen dictionaries look up the synonyms and then usage too mockery mockery means a ridicule of something jai shri ram keep listening and score well on the gre set or improve your vocabulary too